a new president to replace President Pierre Nkurunziza, who has been at the helm for 15 years. Vote tallying is still underway, even as critics condemn the lack of sufficient international election observers during the vote. Now we are joined by Moses Javierimana, who is a Burundi-based freelance uh, journalist who joins us by way of Skype from Burundi. Moses, thank you so much for making time for us on Africa 4 and 1. Just bring us to speed. The last time we checked before we went to press, vote tallying was ongoing. What is the latest that we have tonight? Well, thank you so much. The vote tallying is still ongoing and we expect uh, the provisional results to be released on Monday or Tuesday. Mm -hmm. But uh, still ongoing countrywide. We have uh, already seen some uh, communes on a, on a local level. They have already uh, summed up their results and then they will have to be going on the provincial level and then on the national level. So it's a process and uh, the electoral commission chair was saying that uh, they say it needs to take uh, more time so that they can be they can do it very carefully so that they can get the, the real results without any mm -hmm. impediments. Mm -hmm. Now we understand that uh, the campaigns did take place amidst the COVID nineteen fears. The elections also did go ahead amidst the same fears. What is the situation on the ground when it comes to numbers of COVID nineteen infections? Because I'm sure so many people expected to see a, an explosion of new cases because of uh, these huge crowds at these campaigns and now the election. Well, uh, currently, uh, the Burundi officially has announced uh, around 42 cases now since the pandemic started. Remember, this week the health ministry announced more 15 cases. However, we the Burundi government said they have already discharged 20 people mm -hmm. who have recovered uh, from the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And we have seen in the polling stations um, some precautionary measures or pre preventive measures to tackle the COVID-19, to stop the COVID-19 spread in the country, whereby some water points have been uh, put in place outside before entering the polling mm -hmm. station. But uh, no social distancing was observed during the campaigns and even during the election mm -hmm. period. Right. Moses, before I let you go, of course, um, there is now what we are seeing as, uh, you know, Pierre Nkurunziza, the uh, former president or the outgoing president, um, is not really going per se because uh, we understand that uh, he still has a role that uh, he will be playing that has the word supreme in it. Could you kindly explain that to us? Well, he, he will be actually like uh, bigger, uh, like the last advisor to the ruling party, especially. He'll be playing a very big role to the ruling party. And now he's been regarded as a, like a father, as a hero for the democracy, the ruling party for them, for the supporters of the government. I mean, the, the ruling party said DFDD. Mm -hmm. So they gave him some potential ranks which make him actually the overseer of the party and making the decisive decisions. Uh, in the ruling party. So mm -hmm. remember that uh, the government now is um, predominantly active, dominantly with the ruling party, but so he will be having a hand uh, in, in the governing the country. Mm -hmm. And of course, now, what would be the impact of uh, the opposition leader or the opposition candidate uh, winning this election against uh, the uh, person from the, you know, Pierre Ngurz is a led political party? What would be the impact of this? Well, I don't see this uh, happening, uh, actually, to be sincere with you, because uh, we understand uh, that uh, we have seen the history of how it was coming, because now the opposition, the main opposition leader currently is Agato Rasa, mm -hmm. and uh, he has been contesting for the presidential. All right. We seem to have lost... Uh... All right. Um, Moses, uh, thank you for joining us. Of course, we've seen uh, some network issues right there, but thank, thank you very much all the same for uh, giving us or putting us up to speed on.